What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch and I am here with a whole crew for this Halloween little Happy, episode. Happy Halloween. We're all dressed up. I'm Link, but I'm the Latin Link, also known as what? Linktino. 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 I'm a Linktino. <laughs> you are? I'm Bar Baroness Von Bonbon bon from Cuphead. There we go. And you are? I am Princess Zelda, desperately trying to get my sword back from the man who licked it. Sorry. Oh. And, and I'm a shy guy. You're a shy guy. <laughs> In real life, too, you're kind of shy. When, when you first get to know you. But so this is what we wanted to do. We thought, what if we did a segment of what our favorite horror game is for you guys? And we want to know in the comment section below what is your guys' favorite horror game. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And so we'll just get into it. We'll start with old Miranda. Oh. Yeah, okay. why not? All what, right. what is the horror game that means the most to you, that you like the most? My favorite horror movie of all time, and I'm sure I'm not- Movie or game? So, a horror game. Sorry. There we go. Horror game uh, is Silent Hill 2. There we you run go. around playing a protagonist who may or may not be a bad person, and you sort of uncover a story. And one of the things that's really cool about the Silent Hill, at least Silent Hill 2, and Silent Hill 1 did it pretty well, and the rest of them kind of went off the rails. But in Silent Hill 2, you run around in a world that is both terrifying but actually kind of beautiful in a weird twisted way all of the monsters that you run into have strong um metaphors to the character's story and it's really an interesting insight into his personal hell and how it how you reach the end of it ends up being like a really intriguing story and so you sort of really I'm fall in, in love with the story that helps keep you motivated to go through these really? really terrifying and scary environments um, not really a fan of Pyramid Head, although I know a lot of people are, but the game itself is probably my penultimate because I think it does horror right. You have to make the audience care about the story, and I think Adi, I think Silent Hill 2 does that the best. Yeah, I remember playing Silent Hill 1 for the first time, and I was like, wow, this The graphics this were awesome. like mind-blowing. Yeah, none of that holds up anymore. <laughs> oh no, it's not scary messy. at all anymore. Pretty messy. But back then it was just like, oh wow, man. I don't know. You didn't really think about it, huh? Yeah, Back definitely. Then, so, what about you? All right. So she stole my game because I got to I it first. <laughs> got to it first. I love me some Silent Hill, but I do have a game that I just recently got to play a little bit through. I haven't finished it yet, and it is called "I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream." It is a. I don't think I've ever heard of this. It's what? it's it's a PC game, and it's a point and click. So think like um. Uh, Monkey Island, Return to Monkey Island games, and it is a horror, psychological, thrilling, just mind screwing. It's um, an amazing game if you don't really want to do the whole jump scares and tons of gore, but you really want to mess with your mind and wonder why the human race is messed up. This is definitely a game you want to check out. Nice. And it's actually based on a book, and the guy who wrote the book um, voices one of the characters oh, in the game. So it's it's really cool. All right, Dustin, go ahead. For me, I'd have to say Resident Evil, the original. The original, all right on. Um, Classics. And part of that was just because the age I was when it came out, you know, even like my parents were kind of weird about me getting the game. And, and things like that, but uh, I just love the atmosphere inside of the mansion, even with the horrible, wonderful voice acting. Um, you were almost a Jill sandwich. Almost a Jill, Jill sandwich. sandwich. Oh, Gosh. Uh, um, just, just great. Uh, a lot of memories. I remember first fighting the snake, and uh, and just you know zombies, and just being on edge, and that was my first real venture into survivor horror, horror and that's i think it's everyone's it's oh, before yeah. silent hill it's before it's it's the oh, first yeah. horror game well, yeah you have alone in the dark i was gonna but... say there's alone in the dark which has manages to have slightly worse voice acting yeah and, and a movie and doom could first. kind of be considered a early horror what game about too. clock tower clock is tower. that what it's called yeah clock tower is earlier too that's mm -hmm. super nintendo right yeah, yeah. so like that's yeah. but resident evil's definitely popularized it yeah yeah, yeah. i have okay. a resident evil story um and i man when i was playing the first one it was just so 
I never took notice or cared. I was with about the PlayStation until uh, my friend Ed Morrow, who I talk about a lot on the show, uh, brought it over and he had rented it. And I was just like, I was so hooked. And, and after that, I was PlayStation guy, you know? But uh, I remember we were playing it and it was just, it was like late, late, late at night. And it was just getting so like, so tense. And my friend Brett and I were playing it and I was, I almost wanted to say, hey, let's stop because I, I just like couldn't take it no more. Not because it was just, Resident Evil does a lot of good th things right where it's like the ammo sparse, the, the save points are far away. And so you don't want to die. You don't want, you know, in every corner you're just like, cause it's fixed camera angles, things happen, you know? And so I was just like, uh, and I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't want you know, him to think I was a, a, a wuss or something. And then we got a phone call and my buddy needed to be bailed out of jail. And usually I don't bail my friends out of jail. Usually <laughs> I'm like, no dude, like you did this, you, you know? But this time I was like, you know, let's go pick him up. My friend's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's, let's do it. And I knew he felt the same way. As <laughs> I, you know, so we went and picked up our, our friend out of jail, you know, we took a little break, came the back. The perfect excuse. And then we, we ended up beating it, so. That was a game that I played nonstop until it was done, so. And it's a good segue because my number one is Resident Evil 2. That's Ooh. my number one game. Just Chris because- Claire Redfield. Claire Redfield and uh, Chris. Leon. Or Leon, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Not Chris. Uh, Leon. I find your brother. I cosplayed as Clara. Did you? Pax 2012. Nice. And it was just uh, Resident Evil, so awesome, so and so good. But Resident Evil 2 came with a double disc. You had different adventures, different routes you could oh, go. The liquors. The they liquors. Were so scary. Everything just felt right about that game, and and it's so beloved uh, to this day. I know a lot of people like four. Better voice. I don't want to <laughs> talk yeah. about that. But um, Resident Evil 2 will always be my ultimate horror game. Um, honorable mention is a game called Sanitarium on Ooh. the PC. It's really good. Uh, I'll, I might do a live stream of that one day. Uh, maybe in October, who knows? So there you guys have it. We want to know though, what's your guys' number one survival horror game or or horror game? I guess it's not survival horror. I'm sure horror. there's a lot of and PT lovers out there. Oh. oh, PT was my game of the year. The year it came out, it wasn't <laughs> the, even a game. It's the, a demo. The, the demo of the year. Yeah, but like it beat out everything I had played that year. I was like, this is the best experience, even though it's down a hallway, and that is it. Yeah. I was just so best taken away. Best hallway of the year. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Okay. Man. So let us know in the comment section below. And let us know what you like, like about it. horror games. Is it the psychological element? Is it the, just the jump scares? Are you more of an atmospheric type of person? Or do you like looking for all those secrets? Or do you just love? The macabre, like me, the blood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sixteen bit blood. Yeah, sixteen bit blood. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye, bye. Bye.